Okay, so we're still working towards proving the Rogers or Monogine identities via generating functions. And in this video, we want to look at a preliminary result called the Jacobi triple product. So let's look at it. So it's this infinite product of these three terms, 1 minus q to the 2n plus 2, 1 plus z times q to the 2n plus 1, and 1 plus z inverse times q to the 2n plus 1. And that's equal to this doubly infinite sum. So notice we're summing over all of the integers of q to the n squared times z to the n. So um, the first step of the proof <coughs> is to take an identity that we proved in the previous video and um, do some substitutions. So let's recall that we have the following identity in the previous video. And we're going to take this identity and replace the following. So we'll replace q with q squared, and we'll replace z with zq. And so let's see what we get when we do that replacement. OK, so this gives us a great starting point for our proof. So we have this product from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 plus z times q to the 2n plus 1. So that's equal to the sum, n equals 0 to infinity, of q to the n squared z to the n over this ascending product, 1 minus z squared, all the way up to 1 minus z to the 2n, where we take the n equals 0 term here to be just 1. Okay, good. So now the next thing that we're going to do here is multiply the right-hand side of the equation <coughs> by 1, but we're going to multiply by 1 in a special form. We're going to multiply by the product m equals 0 to infinity of um, 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2n plus 2 over itself. So in other words, we're multiplying by that version of 1. And so let's see what that gives us. That gives us this product, n equals 0 to infinity of um, q to the n squared times z to the n over 1 minus q squared all the way up to 1 minus q to the n. And then each term in the sum gets multiplied by something like this over itself. So that's going to give us this product m equals 0 to infinity of 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2n plus 2 <coughs> over this same thing. So product m equals 0 to infinity of 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2n plus 2. So now let's see what that does to the denominator. That gives us a denominator that starts at 1 minus q squared all the way up to 1 minus q to the 2n. And then this one picks up at 1 minus q to the 2n plus 2 and then goes up to infinity. So we've really completed this denominator to start at 1 minus q squared all the way up. And we have to do that by introducing this thing in the numerator. After doing that, this product in the denominator does not depend on n anymore because it is just the terms 1 minus q squared up to infinity, so we can factor that out of the sum. So I'll do that and I'll bring it up to the top and we'll move on from there. Okay, good. So now we're at this identity. So it, we have this product, n equals 0 to infinity, 1 plus z times q to the 2n plus 1 equals 1 over this infinite product of terms like 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2, and then this infinite sum, and that includes terms q to the n squared z to the n times the product m equals 0 to infinity of 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2n plus 2. Now, we'll notice the following. So notice if n is less than or equal to 1, then we have the product m equals 0 to infinity of 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2n plus 2 <coughs> equals 0. And that's because at m equals minus n minus 1, the term is 1 minus 1, which is 0. So we have this infinite product, but one of the terms is 0, which cancels the whole thing out. 
And so what that means is we can change this sum that's starting at zero to infinity and make it a sum that is starting at minus infinity to infinity because all the negative terms are just zero. So we've just added on a bunch of negative terms. So that gives us this following identity here and we'll call this star for uh, previous calculations. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up the board and then um, we're gonna focus on this term in star and we're gonna see that we can change this identity star into something a little bit more useful. Okay, so now again, in order to make star something a little bit more useful, we're gonna need equation number one again. Okay, so we've got equation number one, and now what we're gonna do is make the following replacement. So some of these replacements are gonna be quite simple. We'll replace n with m, so that's just changing the index. We're gonna replace q with q squared, just like we had done before. And then finally, we're gonna replace z with negative q to the 2m plus two. Okay, so now taking these replacements into this identity will give us the following. Okay, good. So now we've got this identity from doing this replacement. So notice we have this product, m0 to infinity of 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2n plus 2. And then we have this sum from m equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the m, q to the m squared plus 2mn plus n over this rising product, 1 minus q squared all the way up to 1 minus q to the 2m. So now the next thing we're going to do is insert this into our equation star, which was on a previous board. And um, we'll notice that this term on the left-hand side is one of the terms in equation star. So it's obvious that we should insert this into that equation star. Okay, so uh, I'll clean up the board and we will arrive with that at the top. Okay, good, so we've taken equation star and we've replaced that infinite product that was within the sum with this term right here. And so now the next thing that we wanna do is take these uh, q to whatever powers that are inside the sum and inside this other sum and combine them together. So notice, if we were to make this distribution here, we would have the overall power of q to the m squared plus 2mn plus n squared plus m. But now notice this q to the m squared plus 2mn plus n squared can be factored out, and that gives us this following equality for this identity. So we'll have, again, this product m equals zero to infinity of one over one minus q to the 2m plus two going right here. And then we'll have this sum, n equals minus infinity to infinity of the sum m equals zero to infinity of um, q to the m plus n squared times q to the m times z to the n times minus one uh, to the m. And so that's what we get from putting all of those things in the numerator together. And then this is all over 1 minus q squared all the way up to 1 minus q to the 2m. Okay, good. But now we can switch the order of summation and that's going to give us the following. So we'll have this product m equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2. And then we'll have uh, this sum, m equals zero to infinity of, minus one to the m, q to the m, z to the minus m, then all of this is over one minus q squared all the way up to one minus q to the two m. Great, and then we have the sum n equals minus infinity to infinity, so this doubly infinite sum of all of the stuff that we have left over, which is q to the n plus m squared, and now we also have z to the n plus m.
And this takes up for the fact that we put a z to the minus m here. So notice the overall power of z is z to the n. Okay, good. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is a re-index. So re-indexing by taking n to n minus m will take the infinite sum n equals minus infinity to infinity of uh, q to the n plus m squared times z to the n plus m. And that will take that into the sum n equals minus infinity to infinity of q to the n squared z to the n. Okay, good. And now we're going to insert that into the big identity that was on the last board, and that's going to give us the following. Okay, so we have this product n equals 0 to infinity of 1 plus z times q to the 2n plus 1, which notice that's part of our triple product over here, is equal to the product m equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 1 minus q to the 2m plus 2. And notice that is another part of our triple product right here. And it's in the denominator on the other side of the equation, so we're in good shape. And now we have this doubly infinite sum, n equals minus minus infinity to infinity of q to the n squared z to the n, which notice that is uh, the right hand side of our identity. And then finally we have the sum m equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the m q to the m uh, z to the minus m times uh, this rising product of um, 1 minus q squared all the way up to 1 minus q to the 2m. And so now notice we'll take this and this is an identity from the last video. So I'll let you look up that identity from the last video, but now we need to do uh, some substitution in that. We need to do Q goes to Q squared and Z becomes minus Q times Z inverse. And what that's going to do is take this sum in the last video and turn it into the following. So this is going to be the product um, m equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 1 plus z inverse times q to the 2m plus 1. Okay, good. So now notice what we have going on here. We have this term, which is this guy over here, is equal to this one times this one times this one. But now if we were to multiply this first one on the right hand side and this third one on the right hand side over to the left hand side of this equation, we would have exactly this triple product on the left hand side and we would be left with this doubly infinite sum on the right hand side and that finishes our proof.